I'm fully locked out of the apartment. This is locked too! No. <laughs> Magnet acquired. It has been exactly this many days since I've uploaded on this YouTube channel. Sorry about that. But I, I, I wanna be clear about something. It's not because I wasn't making videos. In fact, over that gap, I made some of the best videos of my entire life. I hope you don't mind a quick montage. Okay, now we gotta move stuff in. Oh no! Spider dropped down on the cake! Starts boarding a minute ago. <laughs> no way. No way. Everything okay? The, to the toaster got big last time caught fire. Quick pause. It needs to be addressed that I made a video about Kanye West. Um, to that I say, Fuck you, Kanye West. You're not better than anybody. You're not smarter than anybody. How dare you feel like you can say something like that? Sorry about the interruption. Oh, it's going. Oh, splash zone. <laughs> I don't know how much of this story I'm allowed to tell you. A billionaire friend of our family invited us to stay in his penthouse. I'm literally just wandering through a dream. It's completely dark. And I'm like in a mansion or something and I'm just wandering around. It's been a pretty mighty seven months. I would love it if you would go watch those videos. There's a playlist that I'm gonna link in the description. You can just click that and they'll all be in there. But talking to you now, things are different. So what is this? To be fully honest with you, and that's what I prefer to do on this channel, I'm taking a massive risk. I have a few months of rent saved up and a lot of ideas. Things on the surface level have constantly been changing in my life. But one thing has always been true. And that one thing is YouTube. I am so excited to tell you this. I am thrilled that this is my reality again. The daily vlog is back. The whole thing that got me into YouTube, the whole thing that got me into creating internet videos in the first place is back. But it's in shorts form. So you can watch it here on YouTube, on YouTube Shorts, you can watch it on Instagram Reels, 
or you can watch it on TikTok, wherever you enjoy watching these kinds of videos. I'm putting a lot of work into these. I think they're awesome. And then here on this YouTube channel, I'm going to do one or two weekly just making stuff videos. Point being, I'm giving this a full-time go, truly. And I would just really love your support. So many of you have been watching me for years and I just wanted to tell you, I miss making videos with you. Not for you, with you. We really built a community around this channel a long time ago and I, I let that go. It's, it's like one of my biggest regrets that I have not been able to be consistent. And it was entirely because I was just trying to figure out how to make all of this work. But I never, ever gave up. I'm very scared. I don't necessarily know that this is going to work. In some way, maybe this is scratching the itch of like really giving this a full-time go. But in another, I've been doing this for nine years. I have to give it a go. I just owe it to myself to fully try. I'd always felt this desire to grow into a space. When I had the studio back at our apartment, it was as if you opened a door into a different world and that world was Kent's world. I was raised on YouTube looking up to people who had studios and so it was just always a dream. In March, I was given some help to get this studio and get the ball rolling. And it took about four or five months before this place became a real working space. Okay, I've been able to just put my stories up on the wall and that becomes the decor. Hold on for what? <laughs> All my tools have their places. This feels pretty good. All my cameras have spots. My batteries are charging everything's plugged in. I can just arrive and create. So that's how I thought we should catch up today. Wanna just do some odd jobs around with me? It's almost impossible to explain how much I love odd jobs. I was the type of kid that loved rearranging my bedroom. I love switching which side of the bed my head was on. I've just been a creator for so long and my space is one of the most important things at that. In episode one, this is kind of a spoiler, I have a panic attack. This can go bad, this can go very bad. Because when I would come to the studio, come here, I had just moved in and it just wasn't comfortable, it wasn't kind, it wasn't a welcoming space. I realized I never explained the idea of the pallet. What I wanna do is tie the pallet in four corners up into the rafters. Deep storage of things I wanna keep around but I kinda of want it out of the way. I didn't consider that moving in would actually take a couple of months, if not longer. I thought I was just going to show up and have the greatest creative space to start making great stuff. But it just took time. No. I'm a rock climber. I can do anything. I can balance on anything. That's a joke. I fall all the time. And now that I've realized that, it makes doing all of these tiny little small jobs way more fun. I would say this is a success. Because there's a reason to constantly be improving. Be honest, I know you didn't trust me. I know you didn't trust me. But look, I knew it would work. Every little thing makes this place just a little bit better. And that's the best. I hope you take time to look around you, look at your space, and think how could I make this better for me, or for, for you. It's so worth it. Uh huh. I realize if I'm gonna go about something like this, I should teach you what makes it possible. There's a million important knots I wish I could teach you, but let's teach you the one that I'm using for this. It's called the Bolin. Favorite knot, no it's not. It's my second favorite knot behind the traced figure eight. If you know, you know. To tie a Bolin, it's pretty simple. Loop our rope around our hard point, and on the left side, we're gonna make a loop. The underside is going to become what I like to call the tree. Now the rope in your right hand, we're gonna call this the bunny. The bunny is going to come out of its hole. It's going to go out on an adventure around the tree. It's gonna see something scary on the other side of the tree, come back around the tree, and back into the hole. 
To tighten, you pull the tree and both ends of the bunny. And then you get a little man in a sombrero. That right there is one of the best knots ever. And now you know. Bowlin, 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 bowlin. Maybe it's pronounced bow line. I'm not sure. Okay, I think that that's it for this first video. I've been doing a daily vlog here on YouTube Shorts. I would love it if you would check that out. It's the same kind of feel of Ken Echo videos, but on a phone. And since you made it to the end of the video, I'll give you a preview of next week's video. This is my current backpack. It sucks. This is gonna be my new backpack, but it's gonna need to be customized. Is it?